Hey friends, sometimes if you grow up in the South uh, and you go to church, they use words that are really big and complicated. So here's a little help in giving you some definitions for big church words for Southerners like myself. Here's the first one, disciple. And uh, this apple would taste better if it was in an apple pie. Disciple. See, not that hard, is it? Next word is... Rapture. That's if you lift something too heavy, something might rapture. Rapture. Okay, next is orthodox. And that's uh, them uh, men that puts the braces on your kid's teeth. We call them the orthodox. Orthodox. It's so easy, really, once you get the hang of it. Here's the next word. It's called crucifixion. And uh, if me and my wife go on, on vacation on a great big boat and I see her head into the casino, I say, this cruise a fixin' to make me a poor man. Cruise a fixin'. There you go. See? Next word is sanctification. If we're still on that vacation on the big boat and it springs a leak and goes under the water, I say, uh, it has done sank my vacation. Sanctification. There you go. Just like that. Next word is apostolic. If you drink too much, you might be an apostolic. It's true. And then the next word is imputation. If your arm gets an infection and the doctor has to whack it off, uh, that's called an imputation. Yep. So now you're becoming very educated in all of these words. Here's the next one, charismatic. Uh, Bubba's truck does not have a clutch. He drives a charismatic. There you go. That wasn't hard now, was it? Transfiguration is the next word. And when them ladies go to the gym to work out, they're looking for a transfiguration. Transfiguration. And the next word is ascension. Because if your diet works well for you, you might find yourself ascension up your belt a few notches, if you know what I mean. Ascension. The next word is eschatology. And that's the study of Eskimos, eschatology. So learn all about those folks and what they eat and where they live, that kind of stuff. Exegesis. When you go to the department store at Christmas time and they have changed the word Christmas into Xmas, they done exegesis, exegesis, exegesis. It's not a good thing. Next word is circumcision. And I don't know why people get so nervous when we talk about this word, circumcision. If you have two different circuses come to your town and you've got to figure out which one to go to, you've got to make a circumcision to figure it out. That's right. Which one? Barnum Bailey Brothers? I don't know. The last, almost last one is liturgy. In the alphabet, it follows the letter F. Letter G. Liturgy. And then uh, this is our last one. It's called Pentecost. And when the ladies need to know uh, how much is your underwear, they will ask the clerk, uh, what does this panty cost? There you go. In less than four minutes, you have learned 15 very complicated church words, but that really wasn't that hard. And I'm proud of you for listening so well. Thanks.